up, Marysville? Today we have John Clark. He used to play for MT, and now he got accepted to the Huskies and is playing for them. So welcome, John. Hey. So uh, when did you start playing football? Uh, I started playing football when I was about nine years old. Um, I previously played soccer, and uh, I was just kind of like I, was, I could play it, but I was just kind of too physical, uh, too physical for the sport, so it didn't really work out. And uh, so, like, I just that was my first year I was eligible to play padded football. So we just decided to try it out, and uh, we had a great time. So just kept playing. Is there any specific reason that you got into football? Like, were you inspired by? It? <sighs> um, not really. It's just something new that I wanted to try, and. Uh, Everybody I knew did it, so I just wanted to do it too. I just wanted to try it, and um, yeah, that first year I met a lot of people, had a lot of had a lot of fun, and, uh, and it's just continued to be fun since then. So, so when you were playing soccer, like let's go back. So when you were playing soccer, and, yeah, uh, you were too physical. Were you? Yeah, I ended up. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of times where I was like pushing people over, or getting fouls, and things like that. So it didn't really work out. It just wasn't a fit. That's so. great. So then your coach was like, "Hey, John, you want to nah, play?" Not really actual the coach, football? but <laughs> parents and peers were like, oh, "You should yeah. try football because until then, it was flag football or, mm -hmm. or soccer." And yeah. um, when I turned nine, I was eligible to play uh, padded football. So. Did you do anything like after you were told to play football? So you played it nine years old. Did you just keep playing every single year for like yeah. the city and stuff? Like how how did that go? Like how was how was your teams um, growing up? Growing up, my first team we weren't very good, but um, we still had a fun time. And then I played for the same team again, the Jaguars, and uh, we actually. The next year we went to the championship and uh, that was a really fun year because I got to play with Austin Joyner, who's also, nice. I'm gonna be team against with him again next year. And um, then after I played on the Jaguars for two years, I uh, I bumped up from junior, li like junior league to senior year, like an age group difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, I played for the Kodiaks and we were really good. And uh, that was a lot of fun. We won two championships there, so. Dang. Now what made you fall in love with I'd say like my favorite part, my favorite part about football is probably the camaraderie. Um, you know, it's a it's a really fun game. It's fun to be around the guys and um, just like building relationships with uh, with people that that I met through the sport and I continue to play the sport with is is probably my favorite part of the sport. Do you still talk to a lot of the kids that you played with? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, especially from from kids at the high school here. I mean, I have a lot of classes with a lot of them and. Um, just stay in touch with them, like whether it's through the weight room or, or in classes with them. So, like, how long do you usually go in the weight room, or uh, like do you when we lift? Frequent? I don't know. Some days, some days will take like two or three hours. It just depends what we're we're doing. Um, I usually do more legs than anything else, so it's probably just like an hour, hour and a half, each session. So. Now, if there was any position that you could play, what would it be? Uh, if I could play any position, I would probably play safety. <laughs> Just because, <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm bigger. I've never been really the fastest, so I've never gotten to play safety before. But, I mean, you see people like Cam Chancellor, for example, or Sean yeah. Taylor. They just... I don't know. Just they just make the position look fun. How they how they play. They can come up and attack on a running back or stay back and uh, defend passes. It just seems really fun to me. So that's your favorite position. Uh, what um, was your? Well, that was my dream position. That yeah. If I, if I could <laughs> play anything. What was the but position you actually played for? Uh, I played defensive end and tight end or or offensive tackle, which I don't know. There's there's still fun things there, but I don't know. Safety seems. Safety seems fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, at your position, are there any players in the NFL that you kind of like aspire to be? Um, honestly, no, because high school and, and the NFL are two two different styles of football. The game really mm -hmm. changes. So the the defensive end style that we play in here in high school and West Coast and things like that is a lot different than than what you'll see at college or the NFL. It's just a different game. So. So, if you were to choose like whatever university or college you could play could play for, would you just stick with 
Yeah, the Huskies? I'd choose UW still. Um, just kind of grew up a Husky fan. My mom graduated from, from mm -hmm. Washington, so I mean, I've, I've grew up watching games at UW. I've been to a lot of games before, and um, just the opportunity to go there is, is pretty great. <laughs> Um, now, how did you know sign you on? Like, what exactly happened? Um, well, I've been in contact with them since, like, last spring. Uh, I went to their camp last spring and uh, got in touch with the new football, the, the new staff they brought in, I think, last winter or something. And uh, there are a lot of great guys, and uh, we just enjoyed talking to them. And uh, we built up a relationship through, through the summer, through the fall. Um, I went to a lot of games just because it's close, you know. And um, yeah, I just hired in recruiting and uh, I went on an official visit and uh, decided to commit. Uh, so. Speaking of camps, like uh, how many camps have you been to? Uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, each spring there's probably, we probably go to like six or seven camps, including the, the team camp at Eastern. I mean, we went to University of Utah a few times, University of Washington, University of Oregon, I don't know. Name a few, but that's definitely a grind going to camps because I mean yeah. we'd have two or three camps every weekend and things like that. Was it like constant football every day? When um, you go to camp? Sort of. I mean, we do spring camp here at school, mm -hmm. and then yeah, each weekend we we're probably gonna travel somewhere to to go to a camp or something like that. So yeah, it's, it's a lot to do. Have you ever felt? like an action movie star when <laughs> you're playing football like I destroying so. kids no. nah. well we actually have a segment for you uh, we'll be back mm -hmm. and here is Jeff Crank hey there America I'm Jeff Crank and today I'm gonna teach you how to be an action movie star like me let's get crank to be an action movie star like me you gotta be able to jump out of anything. And you gotta look good while doing it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you land it. You also gotta remember to keep up with the gym so you can stay looking cranked. All of this while winning the heart of the super hot double agent who's secretly plotting your demise. Hello Marysville, if you're just tuning in today, we have John Clark, he is, he played for MG, now he got accepted to the Huskies and now he's playing for them. Hi John, welcome back. So when you we we were talking about um, you playing in camps or going to camps, mm -hmm. uh, what was your most favorite camp? Um, I actually got to say Utah was my favorite camp. Um, I went there my junior year and my senior year, and uh, I don't know Salt Lake City is a really nice place. Um, we really enjoyed our time there, and um, I don't know it was just a fun camp. Each year I, I performed really well and. Um, made a lot of connections and things like that and it was just a good time so what what did you usually do in camp like what was the schedule like uh, every day usually camps were like one or two days I think I spent two days in Utah my junior year two days of camping and then uh, one day my senior year and uh, I don't know each, <laughs> each time I mean They'll just run you through like a warm up and the, a bunch of drills and things like that, and then you'll do one on ones and and just compete. So, so that's fun. Now, bringing it back to high school, what would you say were your strengths and weaknesses throughout your career? Um, strengths. I definitely, I think I was pretty fast compared to a lot of high schoolers. Um, which really helped me out like in a, in a lot of places. I mean, speed is really important. Um, <coughs> I can't even explain it. Like, it, yeah, it's, it's just hard to explain. I just think I was faster than a lot of, a lot of high schoolers and um, 
especially for my size too. I mean, you don't really get that a lot. And uh, I don't know, I was, I was explosive, I think. Um, it's definitely more for me to work on when I get in college because college is a lot faster than high school. And even though I was, I was fast compared to high schoolers, I mean, I'm slow compared to college people and the college game. So, I mean, I guess it was, it was just, I was fast and explosive, I guess. And um, I don't know, I was, I was putting a lot, of, a lot of opportunities, I was given a lot of opportunities to shine and uh, took advantage of them, so. So what would you think is the, is your most favorite, like, not really position, but offense or defense? I like defense better. Defense better? Yeah. So you just really like hitting kids? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know. <laughs> offense, you can be, or defense, you can be less technical, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, just kind of play. So offense is like more, more of a game, like more of a mind game. Yeah, you have to think more on offense and things like that. I mean, defense is kind of just, just go I don't know, you can just be aggressive <laughs> and yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Now you talked about uh, working on your weaknesses. Are, is there anything specific that you wanted to work on to um, impress your coaches in college? I need to improve my upper body strength, definitely. Um, I still want to get faster, uh, quicker too. And uh, I need to learn the new defense and uh, just the new style of play that, that's in college that isn't in high school. So that's going to be important for me. How excited are you playing for college? Oh, really, exci <laughs> really, really <laughs> excited. Um, got the opportunity to play at a Pac-12 school. I mean, mm -hmm. couldn't be more, more real than that. So definitely really excited. And do you know what main position you'll be playing? Uh, I'll be a defensive end. Anything about the college game that kind of worries you? <sighs> I don't know if worried is the right word. Um, there's definitely things I have to prepare for, like uh, the size, the size of people, uh, the speed of people. Um, it's just things to get used to. So, are you into any other sports? Um, I play baseball here at the school. Mm -hmm. uh, I get to play this year. This is my last year, yeah. likely. And um, I snowboard a lot too, but it's been kind of a bad winter, so I haven't really done mm -hmm. a lot of that. So, uh, those two are it. So you'd say like football is your most favorite out of all yeah, those sports? Yeah, football's, football's favorite. Yeah. Do you plan on continuing any of those other sports as you go into college? Um, depending on depending on how things go, I might snowboard a little bit. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a toss up. Um, baseball, I've been talking to like a few coaches at UW for baseball. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I have to ask Coach P if he'll allow it. So probably not. In college, are you allowed to like play for t two different play sports? Play two sports. Yeah, yeah that's, two sports. that's a question. I don't know. Yeah. Now, exactly, uh, what experience do you want to take away from playing college football? From playing college football. Um. Uh, I don't know. I just want to experience like the the thrill of actually like playing, and succeeding, and at mm -hmm. such a high level, and um, building relationships with people that I'll I'll stay in touch with for the rest of my life. Probably the number one right there. Do you think you're gonna think about the NFL after you're in college? Or? Um, I don't know. Uh, it just depends on how college goes. I mean, if I if I'm successful and I do great there, then I mean, I guess I could think about NFL, but we'll have to see when we get there, so. Okay. Do you expect to be playing your freshman year as a starter? Um, I'm probably going to redshirt, so probably not. But um, we'll just have to see how the depth chart goes. Uh, there's plenty of defensive linemen at U UW, so I'd have to beat out a lot of people. Okay. What separates you from other athletes that you'd be facing there? Mm. What do you mean, that I faced in high school or that I'll be facing? Like for, for both, let's say. Let's just say for um, both. Well, in high school, a lot of people were a lot smaller than me. Mm -hmm. I was usually one of the bigger people on the field. Um, and out of those big people, I was usually pretty fast. So um, I mean, that gave me a pretty, pretty big edge over a lot of people in high school. Um, 
at a university, I'd say I'm probably going to be average size, average speed. So those are, I don't know, I can't really control my size, but uh, I can definitely get faster, work to get faster. So mm -hmm. I need to do that. So you think, uh, would you say your work ethic kind of, you would hope to separate you? I suppose, yeah. Yeah, I think that's one thing that helped me a lot in high school is just, just being in the weight room a lot, working out. Um, JJ helped us a lot. Coach Gamalinda, he, he he helped me a lot just with giving me workouts and, and tips and players and things like that. So. Did you watch a lot of game tape in high school? Yeah, yeah, a ton of film. Um, we would watch film during lunch as a team, which is like, okay, but um, I'd go home and watch film pretty often. And um, yeah, that actually really helped me kind of see what's going on in their offense, see who I'd be going against, and uh, know their weaknesses before entering the game, so. Have you ever thought of like getting into other players' minds, like, hey, I'm gonna like beat trash you? Like shock? No, no, like just mentally. Or like these of course, I mean, you kind of have to, mm -hmm. just the nature of the game. But um, I was never really one to talk a lot of trash, which I kind of regret, because <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun yeah. doing that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we actually have another segment for you guys. Um, this is the Mind Control app. Oh, yes. Finish downloading. Wait, downloading what? I'll show you. You see Trevor over there? Watch this. I'm going to control Trevor over there. Let's make him stand up. Whoa, what else can you make him do? Dude, I'm gonna make him do some parkour. Watch this. Whoa, that was gnarly. Dude, what else can we make him do? You know, Trevor's always wanted to go see the pyramids. I think we should make that happen. Well, how are you gonna do that? I'll just use the jump feature, turn up to 6,000%. I'm sure that'll get him to Egypt. Alrighty then. Um, setting coordinates for Egypt. Uh, okay. We're ready for launch. Well, Trevor, uh, enjoy your trip, buddy. Three, two, one. Whoosh. What the heck? Where am I? Am I in Egypt? How did I get here? How am I gonna get home? So, did he get there okay? Um, he got there okay, but I lost connection to him, and now I can't control him anymore. So you're saying he's stuck there? What's up, Marysville? If you're tuning in, we have John Clark today. He used to play for Getchell, now he's playing for the Huskies. Uh, welcome, John, again. Uh, what major difference do you expect to see in college football? Uh, What's different than high school ball? Um, definitely the size of the people and the speed of the game, and um, uh, different. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. I guess. Have you already, um, oh huh? sorry, have you ever met like any other players? Have you ever met like all those players yet? Have you ever have met, I met Yeah, um, between like camps and uh, going to mm -hmm. games and things, I've gotten to know uh, quite a few players. Um, and it's just, it just makes me kind of more excited uh, just spending time with future teammates and things like that. They're all pretty cool and uh, they're all really chill. So it's gonna be fun to compete with them next year. Now, as part of the college football experience, are you excited to be traveling with the team? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's definitely one thing I've never experienced, so uh, it's going to be new, it's going to be fun, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Any places uh, in specific that you're looking forward to? I, no, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just everywhere? I guess. <laughs> How long are the trips to other states? Uh, for like a game? Mm -hmm. um, 
they generally fly out on like a Friday or Thursday night and uh, they spend a the day there to, to get like uh, used to the climate and things like that and uh, then they'll play on Saturday and uh, usually they fly out Saturday night so do you think you'll be able to get a lot to do there or do you think you'll mostly be in the stadium um, it's probably just gonna be more football um, there's not really a lot of downtime, and, and usually in the downtime you'll probably have a meeting or be watching film, so probably not. But just kind of that experience of traveling would still be yeah. really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, back to high school. What would you consider was your best high school football game that you played? <laughs> my best game or my favorite yes. or the same? We'll start with your best. Same game? Uh, probably. <laughs> uh, my favorite game was probably Linwood, the senior year. I think it was like week nine or week eight or something like that. Um, Linwood's always kind of a trash talking team, and uh, <laughs> we we beat them pretty good, and it just felt good. And uh, I played a really good game, and it was senior night, and just a lot of things going on. It was it was a lot of fun. So, what do you think like prepared you to actually strive in that game? Um, just the preparation. Um, we had a good week in practice and uh, just watched a lot of film. Uh, knew what to do before before we came into the game and um, we, we executed really well. Do you want to talk a little more about how you personally felt like you played in the game? <sighs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I thought I had a good game. So. so how did Coach help you reach your level right now? Or um, your level? Well, uh, we had Coach Jordan Jack, the, the offensive line coach. He's a he's a really knowledgeable guy and really knows the game of football. And um, he really helped me, I guess, in how how I approach the game like mentally, like how mm -hmm. I prepare for the game mentally, and um, how I play the game mentally. Um, he. he he's like he's in his 20s or 30s so he's still relatively young so we could connect like that and um, he had been to my shoes like a high school prospect looking to play college football he he had been there not too long ago so he could relate to me in that way too so I mean um, just having him here was great to, to give me tips and pointers like how to talk to coaches and when to approach coaches and things like that and um, just how to play the game right and um, how to excel at in the offensive line and uh, the defensive line coach, um, Coach Montez, he's just, <laughs> he's a funny guy, he's, he's a good guy, and um, yeah, it's just great to have him there, have him there too. Do you think there are any other players that really helped uh, prepare you? Um, yeah, obviously, because I mean, there's, there's 11 people on the field at all times, and uh, everybody needs to be doing their job for us to be successful, and uh, and they're also great support too, just because like I don't know when the going gets rough, you can always fall on them, and and uh, we have great teammates here. So, have you ever um, had so much adrenaline, you're just really pumped, <laughs> and you're just like, let's go, we're gonna win. Like fired <laughs> up, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, it's part of football. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we actually have another segment for you guys. Okay. Uh, this is called Get It. You're going down, man. Not today. since Monday. All right, man. Till 7.
think so. All right, here we go again. Now, welcome back, Marysville. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're here again with John Clark, who was a Marysville Getchell Charger, and now he plays for the UW Huskies. So, John, um, who would you say is your biggest inspiration out of anyone? My biggest inspiration uh, is, well, in a football mind, is probably Sean Taylor. Um, rest in peace, by the way. But uh, He's just, uh, if you watch like his old tape in the, at Miami or in Washington, I mean, he, he was just a really explosive player. He played every down like it was his last. And uh, I think he's just a great model for how football should be played and how I want to play football, so. Did you watch a lot of the games that he played in? Um, I actually didn't. Is, is he played at University of Miami, so we didn't get a lot of those games up here in the Northwest. Um, but there's definitely a lot of a lot of tributes to him on YouTube and things like that is, that I always like to watch, especially for games and things. Um, but uh, yeah, that's 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 who drives me. That's who I want to a model. Anything specific about how he plays that you kind of want to emulate in your own game? Uh, you you just gotta watch him play. Great, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ask that question. So you but just so you just like how he. He I just like his style. He's a, yeah. he's a wild man. He <laughs> he just goes for it, and uh, he's, he just plays so explosive. He's he's it's fun to watch. Now, now that you're going off to college, uh, how would you want Marysville Getchell to remember you? Um, you know, um, I probably just want to remember it as like a I don't know, just a humble guy who's. He just loved playing football and um, just, just got after it and worked hard. All right. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time, Marysville. Thank you for joining us on Charger Chat. And thanks again to John Clark. Yeah, thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for joining us, John. And see you again next time, Marysville. <laughs>